show me everything. Peace, Deep Bonds 255 here. And today we're talking about the character patch notes. Super Saiyan Goku. Now here's my complaint. Number one, everybody was complaining about UI Goku's 5L or his standing light. And it sucked people in, it was a vacuum. They they in this patch, they give a character the ability to go full screen, right? Right, freezer here. Full screen can stand from the back of the screen, press the medium button and come to you. And but th this is dope somehow. This is what's up. So basically what you're telling me is that all that hate that you were given to UI Goku was just because you hated on UI Goku. It wasn't really about the button being obnoxious. That was just hating on the character. Because a lot of people liked him when he was popular. He's the, he, at that time, he was the strongest form of Goku. So of course it's going to be popular. But y'all a bunch of hypocrites for that. All you uh, who say that these characters with all these crazy button updates is great. You know, uh, who's another example of uh, a crazy, where is he at? Let's see if we can find him real quick. Characters was crazy, you know, like, if you, if you, if you see the standing medium for Vegito, that junk looks crazy. And I'm a Vegito player, I love Vegito, so I'm not gonna complain about it too much, but then again, I wasn't the one complaining about UI Goku's um, standing out. That was that was y'all. Let's go back to the patch. So, uh, M Ku is back. Okay, and uh, most of his basic moves have been buffed. Steady heavy attack, increased distance move. Don't hear no complaints about that. Crouching unique attack, extends the move initial hitbox downward. Jumping medium attack. Extended both the hitbox and hurt box downward, increased attacks at the frames, increased recovery. Well, that's good. It, it does need to be uh, ha have that at least. So, none of y'all complaining about that. I'm, I can't wait to hear somebody actually complain about that. It's probably not gonna happen because when Super Saiyan Goku does it, it's dope. But when UI Goku's standing L hits you, it's a problem. Whatever. The hypocrisy is real. But uh, this opens up new combo routes for him. But I am good, glad to see uh, that this character got buffed because it, it is going to open up for more variety. Hook and guys are already talking about him being one of the best anchors in the game that is to be seen. And he his C assist got sped up on attack star because I really didn't see it that much. Increased hit stop on the first attack. Act adjusted the hurt box before the attack. So we'll see what that looks like. Alright, let's go to the next one here. Vegeta. Standing medium attack. Increased distance move during the attack. Hmm. Uh, crouching heavy attack. Adjusted distance move during the attack. It's interesting when you look at these, this character patch, right? Because Gogeta shows you where they're going, and so does Baby. What do these characters have in common? They have really good buttons. Vegeta's got huge normals, right? Gogeta had huge normals, so they've come to the understanding maybe because of Android 17's um, down M sucking so much, but they've come to the understanding that big buttons make great characters and bad buttons don't. Even though that's the case though, right? They still didn't seem to fully figure that out when it comes to this guy. All right. You know, one of the things that drove me crazy about Brawley is that his standing light attack is 10 frames. They increased the distance on it. There's there's no reason why he should have that cursed move. I don't I don't rarely ever see it. What do we see usually? 
down light. That's the attack we usually see with Super Brawly. Um, I don't know why they gave him that cursed move. They understood that Gogeta's frame data was garbage and they buffed it. And I, I don't think it would have hurt to buff uh, Super Brawly's frame data. But, you know, Common made a whole video about that. Anybody else go back to Vegeta. I'm just complaining. And I might be doing a lot of that in this video. So if you don't want to hear that, just jump off. Because I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Crouching, heavy attack, adjusted move during the attack, jumping medium attack. Adjusted both the hitbox and hurtbox, increase attack, active frames. Interceptor kick, the speed of the move now decreases on hit, adjusted not back on hit. Okay, super dash kick medium, increased on time during camera effect. Executive energy blast, increased chip damage. Big Bang Attack, Heavy Unique, change the motion of the grounded version. Now causes a slight knockdown on hit, adjusted ground bounce on hit. Z assist type A, increase stun time, increase hit stop on hit. I think that's good because that might bring back base Vegeta. You saw a lot of base Vegeta in season one. Um, not base Vegeta, yeah, him too, but you saw a lot of um, Super Saiyan Vegeta in season one. And for good reason. And for good reason, his his assist was the best assist in the game until they nerfed it. Well, if fans and maybes. And I feel like this patch, this character patch overall, was about bringing back season one. That's why you see some double supers. That's why characters like Super Saiyan Goku are more prominent. Goku Black, right? Cell, who needed to be nerfed. A lot of these season one characters, Yamcha, um, Tien. Right, Android uh, AT. A lot of these season one characters. I don't know why they buffed Android Twenty One. It was Twenty One the way they did. That was. I mean, I got no words for that. But uh, these characters are getting a resurgence. So it's interesting to see how they're gonna balance. And it's great for the tournament scene. And I'm not complaining about it. I think it's great. Except that my major gripe is, and I'll say it again, is that y'all a bunch of hypocrites. All right, complaining about that man, you are Goku standing L and it's assist being broken and all this other garbage, but it was just hate. All right, it was just hate because these other characters got crazy normals and, and, and now it's hype. Whatever, man. And we'll to the next game. Can we talk about this? Why do they keep buffing this nigga, man? Why do they keep buffing Piccolo? Like, what is this nigga thinking? Why do they keep buffing Piccolo? I don't know about I literally have a video on here. It's called 255 versus the highest ranked player in North America. And this dude's Piccolo prior patch just destroyed me in our third uh, fight. You know what I'm saying? And, and as someone who's invested into the game, I don't need to be a professional to say that this character does not need buffs. Because they got rid of his dirty hell zone grenade mix that you got to use two bars on. And he still might 2 hit you depending on the gameplay or tech that comes during this new patch. Or season, season four, whatever. It depends on what Arc System wants to call it. That'll be the end of that debate. But why did they buff this nigga? That's all I want to know. He was already hard as hell to deal with. Um, but they buffed him. Okay. Uh, increased distance move during the attack. Crouchy medium attack. Standing heavy attack can now be charged by holding the button. Stand, standing unique attack sped up the attack startup. Crouchy unique attack. Added invincibility to jumping attacks. Because you can have enough jumping attacks that were hard enough to deal with. Jumping medium attack. Extended the move's hitbox forward. Goes along with the rest of this. You know what another thing I think with this patch was too? Keep it 100 with you. Was like, you know on Dr. Doya's channel. He was showing off that turbo. You know, Dragon Ball Fighters turbo. Whatever the case is. I think Arc System maybe saw that and said, let's give them a version of Turbo. Because that's what this whole patch is. Keep it 100. This whole patch is just Dragon Ball Z Turbo. 
But it's good. I'm not complaining about it. Minus that UI nonsense. Okay, this demon elbow though for Piccolo, bruh, bruh, come on, for real, demon elbow charging the attack will now prevent it from coming out. So I already had to look out for that. Uh, a possible daggone crossover, dragon rush, and now it can charge. Like for real, reduce recovery when the attack does not come out. So. Now it's safer, possibly. Height for the attack is now fixed when the mid-air version is performed at a low height. All right, whatever. Demon elbow, medium heavy. Now goes to the opponent even when no attack comes out. That is interesting. Maybe we'll see what that looks like. Hopefully, I can uh, five L them with Vegito and start a nice little combo. Maybe that's not what that means. But if the attack goes through and they miss and it's still open, that would be great. But uh, Hook ain't God talking about some pit bulls going to carry him, so I don't know. Demon Slice of Light. Adjusted the attack's motion after it hits in mid-air. Adjusted not back on mid-air hit. That's fine. Special Beam Cannon. What? That's fine. You know what? When it comes to supers and them adding to supers, that's fine. Do it. Have fun. Z assist can now be called before the screen effect. Now able to wrap around the opponent at the edge of the screen while moving when holding the button. Reduce the time needed for the attack to reach its powered up state when the button is held. Increase the powered up version tip damage. Reduce recovery for the powered up version. Increase hit stop when the powered up version is blocked. Clearly. Arc Systems wants you to use this move, right? They're trying to make it as, they want Piccolo, they want Goichi to make a tire list, and they want UI Goku and Piccolo next to him. Actually, the way they keep buffing Piccolo, they want Piccolo in a tire of his own. He's not there, but that's what they want, and when it happens, you all can complain about it finally. Z Assist C Type sped up the attack startup, adjusted the hurt box before the attack. And, that, and that's Piccolo. I right, look at Team Gohan. Yeah, this should be small. This little nigga did not need nothing too crazy. Crouch a unique attack, jumping plus unique attack. Adjust the input method to allow movement before the motion starts. So giving people more options with that move. That move isn't terrible. That might be for more combo fodder, but it really isn't such a crazy neutral tool that I care that they give you more options with it. So what? Five hit combo light medium, increased stun time for follow up attacks. Uh, I'm gonna have to try that out and think about what that looks like because we already know about that broken auto combo and there don't need nothing else added to that. Flying kick medium heavy, adjusted distance move. Adjusted distance move during the attack, adjusted the range at which the attack hits. Um, Super Dragon Flight, increased distance move during the attack. Increase the stun time on hit. All right. Z assist A type increase stun time. Z assist B type increase the number of hits. Yeah, I saw that. That that's a great tool. That's gonna make him a really great assist character. Those two dealing with those that might be more of an issue than anything. But it's good to see on screen. I like it. I don't think Team Gohan needs a lot of buffs, but that I think that's dope. I love that. Um, definitely be a, a good neutral tool. Adjust the hit stop on hit. Z assist C type. Sped up the attack startup. Adjusted the hurt box before the attack. Sped up the attack startup. Adjusted the hurt box before the attack. So they want that C assist move more. Very excited to see what's going to happen with Zamatsu. Remember, the first Evo champ had him on his team when he won Evo. And uh, Zamasu's a lot more mobile. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what Sonic Fox will do with Zamasu and how much he's going to grow. I've ran into some good Zamasu's online and been thrashed by them before. I'm sure it happens to you. Or as Kami says, it can't happen to you. It can happen to you. Um... But I really like all the change they gave Zamatsu. How his fight's more mobile. It's quicker. He has a dash. 
they buffed his normals, which I kind of think is crazy because his normals were already crazy. But I'm really happy with what they did with Zamasu, and I'm looking forward to seeing him in competitive play. But yo, on another note, why they nerf my boy Jiren, son? Yo, that was not a bug fix. Jiren stops everything. That's the character. The nigga faster than time. He stopped the spirit bar with his eyes. And let's be honest, the nigga wasn't top tired even with that move. So why not let it snatch throws? Arc Systems used to giving characters their own original version of the game. Let Jaren be able to stop everything with a throw except for level 1 supers and 3s and level 2s. But besides that, man, they shouldn't have took that from him. That character already is, he ain't top tier at all. They ain't give him nothing, really. I mean, they increased the, the if, a, if a character dies, he comes up with his punch super and that strong. That's not going to make him top tier. That's not sitting Jaren to the top 10. Uh, I'll see what they do with his bomb. It's supposed to be fast, but come on, man. Come on, Arx. Why you do my boy Jaren like that? All right, let's take a look at Frieza. Now, I'm happy Frieza got buffs, okay? I'm not going to continue going about the whole UI thing, how y'all niggas was complaining about UI having or standing L that was a little bit longer than normal and needed to be nerfed and it was crazy. Uh, but this nigga Frieza got a standing M. Nigga can literally... Stay from the back of the screen, throw a press M and just be and be in your face. Like the nigga body a moving projectile. Cool. I like Freezer though. I think he's a great character and I like how the devs they keep adding these increases to these characters slowly to see if something's gonna like pick up it feels like. I'm gonna add a little bit here. And season at the beginning of season three, we're gonna let the uh, Golden Freezer continue to stay with Sparking. And now we're gonna make it so that Golden Freezer's timer resets. They keep trying to make the character in a position where he's top tier, but he's not too powerful and broken. I respect it, but it takes a lot of patience to wait for all that. Let's look at Freezer here. Standing light attack follow up too. Now treated as a projectile without key blast properties. Extended the move's hitbox upward. Fine. Uh, without key blast properties, does that suggest that it's going to be stronger than the key blast? You'll all know by the time this patch is out. But if that is the case, that's fine. He's a projectile character. Standing medium attack. Increased distance moved. Already beat that to death. Will now attack the opponent when close. Yeah, I, I guess it wasn't before. Crouching medium attack, increased initial distance moved. Fine, that's good. Crouch it, maybe that's good. Maybe they shortened it, but I'm guessing moved is moving forward like the rest of the pouch. Crouch, uh, <clears throat> patch. Crouching heavy attack. Now has strike properties instead of projectile properties. Yes, that's right. So, freezer before, if you try to uh, down each a character. Um, they probably had his projectile on, it, it wouldn't harm them, now it does, that's great. Jumping light attack, extended both the hitbox and the hurtbox, sped up the attack startup when performed after a forward mid-air dash. Maybe that's going to open up more combo routes, allow for more mix-up, but Freeze is a character I would love to see more of, so these, these changes are welcome. Jumping heavy attack, the opponent is now knocked for it when there is a camera motion. Jumping unique attack, change hit effect, increased delay, increased stun time. Uh, when I see that increased stun time, maybe that is uh, more time to do combos, mix up, and more time to make a choice about what you do. A warp smash, change the attacks, hit effect, when performed on the ground. Golden Freezer. Golden Freezer countdown timer will now be reset when Freezer is no longer the point character or when he defeats the opponent's point character. I love that change because again, like I said at the beginning, and that's what I had reference to, they are giving Freezer an opportunity to be a higher tier. 
Um, sometimes these gimmicky characters don't work, but this one truly could work because it's based on skill. It's based on 15 seconds of skill, I think, but it's still based on skill nonetheless. So th this really could be that buff that Frieza needed. All right, let's just briefly look at some of the characters I want to talk about. I'm not going to talk about all of them. Captain Gingyu got some basic changes. Wasn't really all that special. Um, they gave him a hard kick to where he spins. Um, you know, get the right Gingyu player, and it, it can be annoying as hell to deal with. They can definitely destroy you. It gave Trunks a level 2 super. Based on the anime, so after he does the the blast, burning shot level one, whatever it's called, he can follow up with his sword special. And that's 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 good. That's good. They gave him a crouching light. They reduced the recovery so he can do more stagger pressure. That's good. Um, and a lotus. Asura was talking about how he wished they adjusted the recovery landing, but. Is what it is, baby. Uh, uh, Trunks, I don't know. He's an interesting character. Um, oh, another video. Uh, they, they keep giving him lots of stuff, but he just doesn't hit that top tire range. He just hasn't. Uh, it's probably because he's too gimmicky. Um, Android 18. You know, back in season one and season two, pre uh what did they fix that nonsense where they do like the three attacks in the head fuzzies uh prior to fuzzies being prep uh patched out i felt like android 18 she was always an absolute menace and terror and when you run into a good online one she is now these buffs that they gave her are supposed to still do that like to her barrier specifically Special moves can now be performed when the move stops the opponent's attack. Adjust the input direction when the opponent's move is stopped. So she now can do, based on what they were showing on the patch, she can now, uh, she has an option of choosing different moves once the barrier hits. Like she can grab you, go into a level three super. It was pretty interesting. Um, I'm glad Gotenks got nerfed. It's like, you know what's funny about Gotenks nerf and uh, Cell being buffed and uh, Android 21 being buffed? It's like the devs don't want Goichi to be the champion. Because <laughs> these are all Narch nemesis characters of Goichi, right? Sonic Fox is clearly one of Goichi's uh, rivals, right? He's also the first evil champion. And what's interesting is that this character, certainly if there had been a uh, season three, we'll see now if he's playing, if they are playing Sonic Fox's character, Android 21 would have definitely been one of the top tire leading characters and Goichi would have had to deal with that. I have no doubts about that. And he buffed this character through the roof. Okay, they buffed the character through the roof. So it's pretty interesting to see what's going to happen there. Let's take a look at Goku Black. I'm happy Gotenks got nerfed, though. Uh, before we look at Goku Black, I'm happy Gotenks got nerfed because honestly, watching Gotenks win sometimes, it can be a bit boring. And that's probably why they keep nerfing the nigga, yo. Kazunoko won like two championships with him. You watch that UI Goku, I think it was Roshi and Gotenks team that he had against Goichi in that online set in Japan, and it was kind of, it was oppressive. That's why they nerfed that uh, Roshi assist right afterwards, man, because that was oppressive. And honestly, Gotenks, he ain't the most exciting character to watch. All right, so Goku Black, let's look at what actual changes they gave him. All right. Uh, God Slicer, reduced damage scaling. So that would hopefully allow us to use it in more combos and not have to worry about the character automatically flipping out and picking up their aura. It helps with that Z change. 
The Fierce God kicked medium and heavy. Super Dash count is reset after the attack hit. So basically the way they were explaining this on stream is that if Goku Black's medium kick, that uh, quarter circle motion back medium kick, um, or hard hits in the corner, you could dash again and continue the combo. Now during the match demonstration that we had, for those who did use Goku Black, they still were not using the dash property yet. It's pretty interesting that you can, and that helps him. Holy Light Grenade is pretty interesting. Added invincibility at the start of the move and made various adjustments to treat the move as an invincible move. Now performs the attack after instant transmission. Sped up the start of the attack when the opponent is in hit stun. Increased recovery except on hit. So they're talking about how this move is supposed to be invincible. That's always uh, workable for me. I wonder if they can add any different combos to it or that's just it. But uh, Goku Black, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Assist type B is because the only assist I was using with Goku Black, to be honest, was his A assist. Let's see what they did with the Z assist, B type. Increased distance move during the attack. Increased stun time. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough for people to want to use that. Depends on how much stun time. Is that enough for me to combo off of it? Because that, that's the stun time we need. Because uh, Broly's A assist is like plus 30 on block. Hey. Alright. So what, what type of stun time are we talking? Z assist C type. Sped up the attack startup. Adjusted the hurt box before the attack. Adjusted where the character appears. That sounds like a, a buff. It's, a, it's supposed to be a tracking assist, and yeah, that can make it more viable. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about all the characters. I just want to talk about a few. Run my mouth, talk some junk, and uh, just some discussion on this patch. But overall, I think this is a great patch. This game's headed in a great direction. Um, I'm closing here with these Brawly buffs because, yo. Y'all remember season one? Y'all remember season two? Y'all remember how Z Brawly got bullied because of fuzzies all during season one and season two? Many of y'all probably don't because uh, y'all wasn't playing him, but guess who was? I had Deep Mind 255. I was playing with Brawly back in season one and season two, getting bullied out of my mind, and then season three came along, and now he's. This glorious character. So I'm glad they gave him buffs. He's not Z Bully. He's Z Revenge. Getting revenge from season one and season two. Yo, this is Deep Mind 255. Out. One. Peace.